I don't know about for you, but these past few months have been crazy with a capital C. There have been days and weeks where I've wondered, why is nothing going right? And how come everything bad is happening to me? Why did my beach vacation have to get canceled? And why can't the world just go back to normal already? But let's be honest, crazy isn't out of the ordinary for our everyday lives. I mean, how many of us have ever woken up late for school, the same morning we missed the bus, we forgot our homework assignment, that lunch we made, yeah, still on the kitchen counter at home. I mean, crazy is pretty normal. I'm sure you can think of a hundred crazy things that have happened in your life. In fact, right now I'm thinking of one that happened to me. Way back in November, on a chilly morning, I woke up late for class. <laughs> Racing out of my apartment complex, Hoodie's still kind of coming on. I jumped on the first Lime scooter that I saw because I, you know, thought it would be faster than walking. Now, in front of my apartment complex, there is a big, long, steep hill. And for any of us who have ever ridden a bike, ridden a scooter, or a skateboard, we know that as you go down a big hill, the speed picks up and you go faster and faster. Well, knowing that, I decided to watch the speed on the scooter. 12, 13, 15, 18 miles an hour. Yes, doing good. We're gonna make it to class on time. Tardy, not today. Well, knowing there was a turn at the bottom of the hill, I decided to start applying the brakes. As I did this, speed went 19, 20 miles an hour. Pfft, not right, I thought to myself, as I flew over the curve at the bottom of the hill, face planting in the middle of the grass, about five feet in front of me. Now, as I laid there, there were two things that flew through my mind. The first, I hope no one saw that. And the second, there is no one on earth as clumsy as me. I mean, there is no one on earth as clumsy as me. Who messes up riding a scooter? Now, you might think you have a beat on that clumsiness factor, but you don't. There is no one on earth as clumsy as me. And you know what? There's no one on earth who is me. Throughout time, there have been more than 800 billion people who have walked the face of this earth. And not a single one has your name combined with your features, your talents, your passions, your abilities, or your personality. The chances of you being born are 1 in 400 trillion. Yeah, 1 in 400 trillion. That is crazy to me. I mean, think about everything that had to happen to get you here, to this place, at this time, watching this video. To start, your parents had to meet. And in this day and age, the chances of them meeting on a college campus is less than 28%. Then you had to be born. You had to go through life up until this point, meeting people, making connections, having experiences. And then you had to find out about FFA and this YouTube channel here. And chances are you took an agricultural education course and you tried on FFA for size, whether that be because you voluntarily did it or you were voluntold like I was. This morning alone, you had to wake up, grab your laptop, go to Google, type in North Carolina FFA State Officer Team Vlog, click on this video. That is miraculous to me. You are exactly where you need to be. And there is no one who could ever take your place. You see that fingerprint right there on the screen? Kind of messing up the screen, the picture. Yeah, there have been over a trillion of those throughout time. And not a single one is exactly the same as another. You're just like those fingerprints. You are unique. You are special. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You matter. You are the only you ever. And that comes with a huge responsibility to understand that everything in our life, it matters. My clumsiness, that matters. My experiences, those matter. My hair, my skin tone, my smile, they all matter because I am unique and I am loved. I am the only Sarah Beth ever and you're the only you ever too. Now, no matter how many times we hear that, no matter how many times we hear that we're special, we're unique, we are just one of a kind, somehow we still fall into the trap of thinking that we need to be somebody else or have different characteristics that others have that 
maybe we just don't have. If you're anything like me, there have been so many times throughout your life where you have been scrolling through Instagram, walking through the hallways at school, and you've thought, man, why can't I be more like him? Or how come I can't have the same enthusiasm as her? What, why does everyone like her better? But why? Why do we do that? Why do we put ourselves in that mindset? I think it's because we try to find ourselves in someone else's mirror. Now, growing up, one of my favorite movies of all time was The Wizard of Oz. And for those of us who know that story, we know that Dorothy is a young girl from Kansas who is seeking to find her place away from home. Throughout this story, she makes friends with a scarecrow, a tin man, a lion, as they seek to find the Wizard of Oz because they think that he can give them everything that they've ever wanted. A home, a brain, a heart, and courage. Along the way, they run into so many challenges. Evil trees, evil monkeys, poisonous poppy flowers. But they finally make it to Oz. And when they see the wizard and ask for the things that they've always wanted, he tells them that they've had those things all along. In fact, it's those characteristics that brought them to Oz in the first place. You see, they realized they were looking for themselves in someone else's mirror. They were seeking things that they thought they lacked in their lives when really it was those characteristics that brought them to Oz in the first place. They needed each other to be exactly who they were, to make it past the Wicked Witch and see the wizard. Your friends, your family, this world, your community, they need you to be exactly who you are. They need your heart to bring hope to those around you. They need your thoughts to bring a new perspective and they need your courage to be brave. People need you in their lives. You matter. You are the only you and people need you. Think about the people downstairs right now. Maybe the people across the hall, your next door neighbor, the people who live down the street. Go and tell them how much you appreciate them, how much you appreciate them being exactly who they are, how they've encouraged you, supported you, challenged you, and made you realize what it means to fully live and fully love. Because it matters. We all matter. We are all once in a lifetime people and we need each other.